So Dina's going to sing lead, Curtis, because you like the way that she looks. Am I ugly to you, Curtis? These are two of my favorite lines from uh, the movie Dream Girls, which was written and produced in 2006. The uh, This was an, um, a spinoff of the original movie uh, Dream Girls, which was a Broadway musical. It was um, originally done back in 1981. Uh, the current rendition is a group of ladies, a group of three women. They are inspiring to be um, actors or make it in the music industry. We have Beyonce Knowles, um, also known as, um, she's going to play Dina in the movie. We have Effie, which is played by Jennifer Hudson. And then we have Lonelle, who is played by Anika Rose. Um, throughout the movie, uh, these three women typically, uh, this is the story of the Supremes mainly, who are, um, I guess you'll say spotlighted here. And them trying to perform fame or reach fame, uh, they do come across a um, manager by the name of Curtis, Curtis Taylor, who's played by Jamie Foxx. Um, well, as in so many movies, um, Dina and, um, excuse me, Effie and Curtis end up having an affair. Well, of course, this goes on to be okay for some time. Well, uh, that didn't last very long. Peaches and Cream was very, very short-lived there. So, um, after that, Curtis puts his eye on Dina, and he starts to date Dina. Then when Effie picked up on the affair with Curtis and Dina, um, she starts to be late for rehearsal. She was rebellious. She may not come to rehearsal at all. So needless to say, uh, Curtis, the manager, he um, put her out the group and replaced her with someone else. Well, as time um, proceeds on along, we don't hear from Effie anymore. Um, Beyonce, which is Dina, she ends up... Um, she and Curtis get married. Well, the um, honeymoon didn't last long there either. So what occurs is uh, Dina wants out uh, from underneath Curtis being her manager because he was very controlling and um, she was just really overall unhappy. So um, he would not let her out the group. What ends up happening is that Dina um, goes into his office prying and looking, trying to find her way out. And there was a drawer um, in his office that was locked. And when she accessed this drawer, there was tons of music that were written by Effie uh, that the group that she uh, was no longer in had performed. Effie was also the writer of these songs. She did not receive any royalty or any credit, which we know is against the copyright. So what happens is, is that um, Dana ends up reaching out to Effie. The two of them end up reuniting after she shares all this information with um, Effie. So Effie comes in unknowingly um, to Jamie Foxx's office. Again, that's Curtis. She comes in to see Curtis. And when she sees Curtis, um, she brings all this, her attorney with her. And, um, of course, so she uh, all the information that was taken to her. Well, what happens is, is that, um, of course, he signs off on it because everything is in black and white, what he had done. Well, at the end of the movie, we have one final appearance. Uh, the final appearance is going to be of the entire group, which Effie will reunite with them as well. And uh, with this last performance that we have... Um, Effie, she sings the lead part in their final um, appearance, and she keeps singing to this little girl in her audience. And so, um, Curtis was wanting to know who she was singing to because it was apparent that she kept looking at someone. And so, Curtis gets up out of his seat, and he goes over here, and he looks at this little girl. Needless to say, this little girl, once he looked at her, he knew that that was his daughter. Um, so, um, initially, that's why I started off this um, movie review saying that, so Dina is going to sing lead part because she's, um, because she's cute? Or, uh, am I ugly to you, Curtis? 
those are two lines that really let you know that there is a um, an issue or something that's going on between Dina, uh, Curtis, and the other person speaking who happens to be Effie. So um, the overall cinematology of this movie, I feel it was very well played out. I could hear very well. Um, I personally have an issue with hearing. And so sometimes in movies, if, uh, if it's muffled or if they're not speaking clearly or loudly, then I cannot hear what they're saying. In this case, I did. Um, the overall movie was very, very good. I would, um, it's an inspiration to anyone that's trying to um, start a career in the music, arts, industry, drama, um, acting, whatever have you. Um, secondly, it's also a, a reality of what happens in the movie industry or should I say the music industry uh, once you're trying to uh, make fame and to the top. Um, last but not least, I would recommend this movie because it has an excellent um, actors and actresses in there. Eddie Murphy played um, in the movie. Of course, we know he is very, very comical. We also had... Um, Danny Glover, who is a well-rounded actor. And then, uh, last but not least, we have Loretta Devine, who has played in many, many movies. Um, in this particular case, there are also many other um, actors and actresses that are in the movie. So, um, I would recommend you guys, when you get a chance, to watch Dreamgirls.